fun experiment. It's called Water Cycle. When did water buy a cycle? Oh yeah, water cycle means the cycle of water. The things that you need are some hot water. Be careful. Ask your parent for help if you need it. Two glass bowls, salt, plastic wrap, and some ice. First, let's pour the hot water in the glass. Be careful! Now let's put in some salt. Let's mix it. This represents ocean water. Now we're going to put in the clear glass bowl. This represents empty land. Now we're going to seal. Now I'm done sealing the top of our bowl. Now I'm going to add some ice cubes. The water inside the bowl represents ocean water. The inner bowl represents uh, empty land. And the top seal represents sky. The ice cubes represent cold atmosphere. In this experiment, we're going to see three things. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. We already saw these three things in our old video. Please go check it out. It's in the description box below. When the sun heats up the water, it evaporates and gets stored on the clouds. So here, when the water evaporates, it will get stored on the plastic wrap, which here represents the clouds. And this is evaporation. When water vapor reaches the sky, it becomes tiny water droplets. When water droplets, gas, and dust particles combine, it becomes a cloud. That's called condensation. Can you see these water droplets? When the cloud becomes too heavy, it can hold more water. So, that's how we get rain, hail, and snow. That's called precipitation. All these things get stored in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Let's check it after 5 to 10 minutes. Remember those empty bowl we kept inside? It will be with some water. Let's see. After a couple of hours, this is the result. Can you see a little bit of water? 
Remember we kept this glass empty? But now, there's some water! That's the precipitation! I hope you like this simple experiment! Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Science Rules for Kids! And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll get notified when I upload a video! Thank you and laundry! And remember, science today is technology tomorrow. So learn science in a fun way. And the best way to learn science in a fun way is watching our videos. Bye!